to have you here. Now, today's topic, I want to talk about the ecosystem of creativity. Now, creativity is definitely an inner world first. It is within you first. We all have creativity within us, okay? And how we cultivate that creativity is unique to each individual, right? But one thing that we all have in common when it comes to creativity is how we all feed one another by feeding ourselves with our own creations and our own aspirations and our own goals and our own ideals, right? And it all circles back into the next person, to the next person, to the next person. And that is what creates this beautiful ecosystem, right? Okay, class, now open up your journals and we're going to take some notes. Creativity is an ecosystem. Always create more than you consume in order to endlessly ride the waves of your ideals, both effortlessly and timelessly. The more you consume others, the more you become stagnant in an energy that isn't even yours. The steady flow of your creativity is what feeds your individuality and your ability to express and expand yourself to the world who may use your essence as its own inspiration. Continuing the flow that keeps this world beautiful and interesting. So when you feel stuck in a creative block, the only thing in your way is the clutter from everything you've been consuming that isn't even yours. In class, what is the remedy to? Touch some grass. That's right. Go out in nature and be curious about the unfiltered beauty all around you. And when you get back, that's when you start to create. Now, I like to imagine creation as a garden even, right? So with a garden, you have two major responsibilities, planting and harvesting. And not just planting, but planting and nourishing and watering those seeds. And then harvesting, not only for yourself, but for your community, right? And if you look at creativity as a garden, your creations are the seeds. And you nourish and you water and you love on and you give sunlight. And, and everything that these seeds need to sprout and bloom into a beautiful garden. And when that garden blooms and is ready for harvest, you collect what's yours, right? You take what's yours, what you need, and then you give the rest out to the world, right? And then you go out into the world and you collect from their harvest. You gain collective inspiration from them. And then you bring that back to yourself and you feed your family even more and this ecosystem just continues, right? But what happens, what happens when you're out in the world just collecting from everybody's harvest and ignoring your garden, ignoring your seeds, not nurturing or watering your creations, and you're consuming more than you're creating, your garden dies. Think of what you're doing while you're in these creative blocks. Are you consuming more than you're creating? And for me personally, my remedy to always make sure that I'm consuming more than, than I'm creating is to intentionally create something every single day. And it doesn't have to be good, and it doesn't have to be shared, but it has to be a creation that was intentionally made just to get that energy out, just to remind myself, just to flex that creative muscle and just to stay in the flow of my energy as opposed to in the flow of the energy of the world. That is how you break any creative block. 
is staying within yourself and nurturing that garden first, but always remembering to share your ideals, to share your creations as well, and to draw inspiration from the collective as well. Right? So there is a balance, there's a scale, and you want that scale of your creations to always outweigh your consumption, okay?